Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm making this video to explain how to convert an indicator into strategy. Uh, this question came up in a Pine Q&A many times and there is not much documentation to uh, understand how to do this exactly. This is not a difficult task as well. If you if you are into Pine Script, it's a, it's a very easy thing, but it can be challenging for those who are just starting with Pine. So I thought I'll make a video so that it will help a few people who are just starting uh, with Pine Script and it will give them a head start. So let's get started. Uh, in this video, what we'll do, um, I'll take Bollinger Band uh, um, indicator from Trading View and convert that into a strategy. Um, so let's load Bollinger Band. So once you load Bollinger Bands, so it will be there on the chart like this. So now you need to access the source code of it. So let's go to this and uh, click on source code next to the title of the indicator. So you have the size source code. Now we need to copy into our our workspace, right? So the pine the source code get loaded in the pine editor. So we copy this into our space by using this option of make a script a copy, right? So let me do it as BB strategy demo. Okay, so the script is now copied into our, our space. Now what we need to do is to convert it to strategy, all we need to do is change this indicator into strategy, right? It will throw some errors because some of the parameters are not uh, available for strategy. So let's just save this. So it already threw an error. Uh, you can see that the time frame is not a valid method and time frame caps is not a valid um, uh, argument for the method um, strategy. So what we need to do is click on that. We'll go to the problem where um, line where the problem is. You can see the time frame and time stream cap, caps parameters here. Just remove them. Right, and uh, our strategy is ready. So it's compiled properly. All oh, right, it's not loaded into the chart. Why? Because uh, what we have is still the trading view strategy, and we don't. It, it's not the same as what we have in our uh, PyScript editor. So what we do is we close this one and add this into our chart and you can see that strategy is loaded but there are no trades uh, that's because we just converted this into strategy but we haven't written any logic to generate uh, entry and exit signals for long and short rates so let's make some conditions here um, let's say you want to enter when a price crosses above the bollinger band low and you want to exit when price crosses below um, the Bollinger Band high. Okay, let's take this as a condition. So, so let's say the long condition <clears throat> is equal to ta dot cross over and close. Let me make it as low. Or close and close crosses over uh, lower. Right. Can see the lower here price crosses over lower and the long condition only the short condition is ta dot cross under close upper so the upper and lower are already here so just making use of that so the price crosses under upper then it's a short condition so we have the conditions now so let's just try with the long entry now long entry and long exit so let's say so to enter the statements which generate long trade what we need to do is strategy dot entry okay so strategy dot entry if you hover on this you get all the details which are required all the parameters which are required um, and also you can go to a reference manual and look for strategy dot entry. Sorry, this is dot entry. So strategy dot entry here. You can see ID, direction, quantity. There's so many things. So what we do is we enter the minimal uh, details. So the ID is the trade ID. So it can be uh, any string. 
so make it as a long market entry so this will generate um, i'll just ex use it use the market order to explain how to convert you can explore the other features um, by looking at the reference documents so long market and what is the direction next point is what is the direction which is uh, which also required parameter so direction is strategy dot long right if you go to the documentation you can see it can be strategy dot long for long and strategy dot short for short okay so we generated this now when do you want to enter this condition so what you need to do is when is equal to long condition you can do this as well or also we can use an if condition if long condition then use strategy dot entry you don't need both when and if you can use either of them <clears throat> i prefer to use um you know when is equal to long condition okay so this generates an entry so let's just save this and see what happens okay I, I st we still don't see any uh trades on the chart so if you go here there's not the thing here and if you go to list of trades you can see that there is an entry there is an entry on 2022 may 9th but there is no exit anywhere so that's why since there is no exit there are no further trades placed as well so i just placed one entry and that's all so that's why we don't see any uh, data here so how do we solve this so to do this like you know we need to also specify the exit conditions so let's just do this as well strategy dot close when do you want the strategy to close so again log market when is equal to short condition so when it is short condition close long um, long entry when it is long um, long condition open a new position long position so that's all so let's see how this works now <clears throat> yeah you can see the chart, trades on the chart if you, if you can see here so the trades are generated um the performance may not be that good though so just going to overview you can see that um it's it's going down but that's just an example i'm showing here not i'm not trying to teach how to um how to trade so okay so you created an entry and a uh, long entry and long close now let's see let's say you want to um also place a short entry right um you want to place a short entry then what you can do um you can remove this x strategy dot close and you can use strategy dot entry again and then uh, short market strategy dot short when is equal to short condition right so this will generate a short condition short uh, entry and there's a short when short condition ex executes um, but uh, trading view strategy framework how it works is uh, you cannot have both long and short together so when you uh, when the short entry executes it also closes the long entry so if i save this can see that um wherever there is an exit instead of exit there is a short market short market long market so it just alternates between short and long conditions <clears throat> okay now let's say uh, you want to add a secondary condition for entry but exit you want to perform assays i want to keep both of them so let's say secondary long condition maybe let's say um you want to place long orders only when uh, price is about 200 sma so long condition is equal to close is more than ta dot sma close 200 okay so similarly secondary short condition when close is less than price is less than sma of uh, 200 then only you want to place short conditions so let's implement this here so what do you do in the end condition in the when condition we include both of them so long condition is the primary condition and this is the secondary long condition and similarly short condition and secondary short condition so this will do 
So let's do this. Right, there we are. So it combines both the orders, both the conditions, regenerate, exit, entry, and exits. Now let's say um, you want to use a secondary condition only for entry, but you want to exit um, whenever there is a single short condition. We don't need to worry about secondary condition and exit only should work on the primary condition. Then what we can do, we can add both strategy.close and strategy.entry together. So let's do that. <clears throat> so long market will close when there is a short condition, but it doesn't necessarily mean there will be a short order because for the short order to be placed, we need both this condition to be true. And similarly, what we can do is we can add a strategy.close for short market as well. So short market, when long condition is true, then if there is any short uh, entries, it will be closed. So close the uh, use this and it will generate the trade on that basis. So sometimes if you look at the chart, um, this is just closing the long entry but not placing a short entry because price is still about 200 SMA. But here, uh, here you can see that it's also closing but um, it's also generating a short entry here. Right, so that's how you convert um, indicator into strategy. Uh, you can go through the documentation here and explore a few more options. For example, if, if you want to place a limit order, a stop order, you can make use of these parameters. If you want to set particular quantity, uh, means you don't want to use um, default quantity provided by the strategy function. You want to say, I want to buy um, one lot or two lot or um, whatever the quantity you have, then you can use this. Um, and there are a few other options uh, related to OCA and other things. So you can you can have a look at those and uh, you know um, make use of them. Uh, similarly, strategy dot close. Strategy dot close also it doesn't have much options. It's just condition, and when condition is true, you can choose what is the quantity percentage though. So how much how much you want to close and how much you want to you you can choose to do a partial close and all. Um, in that case, uh, you know, these parameters are useful. Let's say if if you want to uh, do a take profit or um, you know or stop loss conditions. So for that, what you need to use is strategy dot exit. <clears throat> so this provides um, like you know you need to um, you need to provide an exit uh, ID and also entry ID from where you are doing the exit. And you can also uh, set up conditions like I want this much profit, um, I want to exit based on this much profit or loss, or this much um, you know stop loss or limit order and all these things. Right? There are um, uh, many other options here. You can probably go through this documentation and try to explore the um, you know uh, um, functions more uh, because time is um, not enough to explain all everything in this video. So I will leave it to the programmers to explore further. Okay, so I think that's all for today. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and also, yeah, sorry, one thing I forgot to mention, I have a strategy template uh, which I published some time ago. You can make use of this function a bit, um, which explains how to make a stop orders, limit orders and all. Uh, you can probably have a look at this as a reference. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's up to you. Um, and one last thing to say is um, when you enter a new creator strategy, if you don't have anything in the strategy definition, um, you get to see all these parameters in the you know strategy uh, the script parameters. So, for example, if you want to see certain um, capital. Uh, currency details or how much order each um, what is the position sizing of the each order and how many orders parallel orders you want to uh, place and all these things uh, such kind of things you can um, configure here uh, these are the default values to override these default values what you need to do is um, go back to this and look at the strategy uh, call 
it will have all these parameters and um, definition of what needs to be done, uh, you know, what parameters means what and how it will affect the strategy and all. Right, so I also have a template here, um, as I mentioned. What I do is, uh, whenever I create a strategy, I'll just copy this and then uh, post it in the new one so that I don't have to go through the documentation again and uh, remember all the individual parameters and all. So what I'll do is I'll replace this one with this one, but I'll also keep the short title and title. Okay, so start title and title I'll probably modify a bit. So BB strategy and BB Japan's strategy. Right, here we go. Um, and that's all. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, let me know if you have any further questions. Thank you. Bye.